guys welcome to butcher magic show i think you have never seen something quite like this very dark winter smg you have almost 300 percent crit damage and 2.4 million armor back on kill welcome to insanity hello my beautiful and amazing people if you haven't subscribed yet welcome to the family Hit that like, smash that sub or leave a hateful comment, it truly depends on your preference and leave a comment down below in comment section, have you ever used Dark Winter and in which setup? Guys, long story short, I'm rocking Dark Winter because it has perfect killer talent and actually you could use this weapon in PvP action as well, but in PvP, man, once you will activate that perfect killer, you can now wipe everybody on heroic difficulty, it doesn't matter if directly to the flight. And my dirty secret in this setup is Bloodsucker talent. We gonna exploit this talent to its fullest potential because actually, maybe you have read or maybe you didn't know, with last kill you will not get 10 or 12% armor back, it depends what type of Bloodsucker you're using, normal or perfect. So with last kill you will not get those 10 or 12% armor back, but actually 100% back or 120% armor back. To me that's ridiculous and that's the reason why I think Bloodsucker actually in this case is better than Memento because we can get much more bonus armor with this talent. Memento is dope but we can stack ridiculous amount of Bloodsucker bonus armor. It's not even funny. Yeah, I said it. Bloodsucker is better than Memento. I said it. Don't kill me in comment section because in this setup Bloodsucker is better man, just check out my footage, I'm rocking this build without shield, I'm so sick and tired from shield builds, it's pandemic, just like skill builds in PvP, in PvE we have all the time shield setups and this one will allow you to run around like a freak and with some little tweaks this build can fit any damn playstyle. But before we continue, I want to recommend to you my partners, a site for boosting services, dwing.net. If you want to get an eagle or any other exotic as well as equip a cool build using items from the dark zone, then these guys will help you to get this and much more in a short time. They have updated prices and deadlines for all services. The boost works with account sharing, so they do everything for you without cheats or bug abuse. I have tested this service myself, so I can recommend you these guys easily. They can be trusted, man. And of course, with my promo code, you will get 15% discount on all services. This site has been working for many years, it has a lot of clients, reviews and payment methods, man. If you didn't get my promo code or you have any questions, feel free to type your message and operator will reply immediately. But now let's get back to my build. But guys, please keep in mind that Bloodsucker by itself is pretty weak, just like Clutch Talent, so you have to support it. In this case, or in our case, I'm rocking Gunner Specialization, which will provide us with extra 10% armor on kill. I'm using two pieces from Bellastone Armory set, just to receive Armory gun and extra 10% armor back on kill. And of course, name it, 511 gloves for extra, again, 10% armor back. And in total, with all the stacks, with one single kill, I will receive 150% armor back. That's a ridiculous number. And guys, on top of that, we have nice damage. Perfect killer will give us 50% extra crit damage. Really nice boost. And we're gonna crit a lot because I'm sitting at crit chance cap. Exotic Coyote Mask in close range will give you extra 25% crit damage boost. And if you're gonna use Orbit Name It Pistol with Perfect Finisher, that bad boy will give you extra 40% crit damage. So 
basically you will have 280% crit damage to all the buffs active that's pretty pretty damn impressive and don't forget that Vector has 1200 RPM and with Gunner specialization on kill you will increase your fire rate as well. To me that's pretty damn dope, synergy, armor on kill and that ridiculous damage with Vector could be nasty in PvP and PvE and of course shield free setup is like fresh breath of air because everywhere I'm looking I'm seeing bulwarked shield reaper skills and shield builds I don't know deflector shield builds you name it shield 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 all the way shield Jesus freaking Christ anyway bastards welcome to one of my favorite dark winter setups this one is mamma mia bellissimo try it out leave a comment down below how did you like this build and with no further ado let's get into it for specialization we're gonna use of course gunner in our case gunner will give us extra 10 percent armor on kill and what's really important it will give us increased fire rate with each kill and since we are using dark winter smg which already has 1200 rpm you're gonna stack obliterate talent on your chest piece basically in no time as well we are sitting at almost 60 percent crit chance with some optimization you're gonna cap out crit chance with this setup as you know guys you can't get any higher than 60% free chance in the game at least right now maybe with next update something will change if we of course ever and I mean ever will see one but really handy would be also gunner specialization grenades foam grenades you can stop chungus rogue agents hunters with those I'm using gunner specialization actually at floor 100 summit farm pretty pretty dope specialization for my main weapon of course i'm using dark winter smg with a perfect killer talent guys you have to kill somebody with this weapon and you receive that ridiculous crit damage boost and the best part about this talent is that it actually has no range limitations yep you heard me right it has no range limitations once you proc it, you have it for 10 seconds and you can shoot the enemies across the map with those extra 50% crit damage boost. So keep that in mind that perfect killer has no range limitation. Of course handling an accuracy on Dark Winter is not that great but still you can do some nasty damage across the map. For my second gun I'm using Exotic Scorpio Shotgun just to stop those nasty bosses, rogue agents, hunters. You could use as well Sweet Dream Shotgun. Sweet Dreams will one tap non elite enemies, so pretty dope shotgun and it has better base damage value. But Scorpio will apply status effects, you know, that nasty shock effect. So Scorpio is pretty, pretty, pretty nice shotgun. But again, Sweet Dreams is really nice option since you can one tap non elite enemies man that's that's really really handy but for pistol actually nothing new agents i'm rocking orbit with perfect finisher because this bad boy actually can give us extra 40 percent crit damage boost as you see crit chance is not a problem and in general guys when you will use smg class crit chance is not a problem you should always cap out Crit damage. Stay crit damage as much as possible. We have more than 170% crit damage, but that doesn't count damage from Coyote Mask, which will give us in close range extra 25% crit damage, and it doesn't show perfect killer which will give you 50% crit damage boost and of course those stats doesn't show perfect finisher extra 40% crit damage boost so you can add to this number easily 105% crit damage 50 from killer 40 from finisher and 25 from coyote mask and that gives us actually 115 
crit damage boost. Jesus Christ, my math is terrible. So we are sitting actually at almost 290% crit damage with this build. And of course, if I would have better chest piece, I would have 300% crit damage boost with all the buffs active, of course, at the same time. But Coyote Mask actually will boost your teammates damage as well. And why I love this build in team play? Because Bloodsucker talent actually gives us more versatility. Memento is really dope, but in team play, you are so heavily depending on those tokens. Jesus Christ, you will not be able to get that armor radiant skill efficiency or even bonus armor if your teammates will kill everybody around you and if you will not get that last shot on that enemy you will stack memento backpack forever memento works really nice in solo but in legendary difficult again most likely you have to use shield build and if you want to get maximum damage you need to use intimidate you have to be in close range intimidate works only with bonus armor on and to avoid all this mess i'm using obliterate obliterate you don't need any bonus armor whatsoever and since we have 59.1 crit chance with this setup you are gonna stack obliterate in no time and don't forget that gunner specialization on kill will increase your fire rate as well so perfect synergy and to my eyes obliterate will work much better than intimidate intimidate is really nice you could of course use it it depends on your preference but i love how obliterate from other hand has no range limitations i can shoot enemies across the map with obliterate talent i can stack it again with no range limitations so to me it's pretty pretty nice and with some better luck I would of course appreciate crit damage on my chest piece, in that way I would reach 300% crit damage. For knee pads I'm using of course Sombra, uh, Bellastone Armory for my uh, gloves and uh, knee pads. Anyway, you got the point. Thank you for watching, Butcher drops the mic, see you in the next one.